Imagine your vision going from this to this. These changes can happen slowly or all at once. It's called diabetic retinopathy, and it's the leading cause of vision loss in patients with diabetes. The most severe form of diabetic retinopathy is called proliferative diabetic retinopathy. There's a development of abnormal scar tissue and blood vessels that are tugging on the retina. This eye, injected with dye, shows abnormal blood vessels that are leaking. This often causes bleeding or even a detached retina. Healthy blood vessels are very tight and don't leak. Laser therapy is the standard treatment to stop the vessels from leaking. It's not an ideal treatment because it can affect your side vision, it can affect your adjustment to dark, and in some cases it can make your vision worse. Dr. Lee Jampol from Northwestern University and co-author studied more than 300 patients with this severe form of diabetic retinopathy. Patients either receive standard laser therapy or treatment with a newer medication called ranibizumab, which was injected directly into the eye. In total, researchers treated almost 400 eyes. Outcomes, especially vision loss, were compared at two years. And over the course of the two years, the patients receiving the injections of the medication did somewhat better than the ones that got the laser. The study appears in JAMA, Journal of the American Medical Association. It had less side effects. The peripheral vision stayed about the same in the medication group, but it was diminished in the patients that had the laser treatment. There are other changes that occur in the retina with swelling of the back of the retina, and we know that the injections help to prevent that better than the laser treatment. Routine eye exams helped identify Michael Graff's retinopathy. Today he sees his ophthalmologist regularly because maintaining his vision is vital. I'm an artist. It's very important. I couldn't imagine being without it. So when the patient goes in now to their doctor with proliferative diabetic retinopathy, there's two choices. Was before there was only one. Catherine Dolph, The JAMA Report.